गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल डू लाइट मैं ऑडिबल एंड विजुअल टू एवरीबडी एंड हाउस द एनर्जी यार आई होप इन माई एबसेंस यू पीपल प्रैक्टिस I hope in my absence everybody do practice. Waiting for the responses. Am I completely audible and visible to everyone? Please do let me know. I guess I can be a little high. Hmm. now works the ban sal see the attendance only then i'll begin your audio is not clear rishabh pal now it is clear rishabh i guess everything is connected properly please do let me know others is my audio clear to everyone Am I audible and visible to all? Because once you will tell me, then only then we'll we'll begin our series. Is my audio and video clear to everybody? Okay. Thank you. Now, now we already know that where we are going on, right? We are on a series that will help you to crack even every possible coding interview. I'm Gaurav Pandey, your mentor, your friend, and today we'll solve the important problem in the same series, array of frequency count. And this will be the last question of this particular array of frequency count series. And I hope those have solved all the previous questions. They have now understanding to solve all the possible problem of array of frequency count. So now, now let's go. Let's see the problem statement. The question number five and the problem statement is a set mismatch. Set mismatch. And this particular problem is important. Why? Because this has been asked in Amazon, Apple, Bloomberg, Facebook, Google, and Microsoft, and also in other multiple companies. But why this problem is important? Because anyhow, after this problem, you will have complete understanding of this thing, array of frequency counter. And I request everybody that keep trying the same pattern question because anyhow, now you have that level of understanding. right so now let's go to the lead code there we'll understand the problem statement first okay and then we'll understand the solution also so the problem statement is that you have a set of integers as that we understand we will have one set of integers which originally contains all numbers from 1 to n so always remember when you have the values 1 to n right and the problem statement depends on the frequency you always apply array of frequency count Right, that you already know. I hope everybody already knows who who are joining the re live regularly, right? So now, unfortunately, due to some error, like B do error, so there is an error. That's fine. Now one of the number is S got duplicated to another number in the set. So what the problem is that there is one number being duplicated. And always remember when you have six range and something is duplicated, only definitely there will something will be missing. so which results in the repetition of one number and the loss of another i guess we have solved the similar problems previously the similar problems missing and repeated value you remember missing and repeated value we have solved already now you are given an integer array nums representing the data st status of this set after the error find the number of that occurs twice and the number that is missing so we need to find that number the number which is missing and the number which has been you know occur repeatedly so we have this particular nums array look at this this nums array we have and here look at this two has been repeated two times and three was missing why you could have number 1 to n means the length was four so you could have number from 1 to 3 4 you could have these four numbers yes or no but three is missing why because two was repeated so you just need to return an output where where what will happen where you will have first as a repeated value second as a missing value and also we had solved the similar problem missing and repeated missing and repeated but i want to tell you the complete understanding of array of frequency count algorithm and i hope after this this will be clear to everybody and those have missed the previous videos please go and check out the playlist of this 150 days lead code series and watch all those four videos all those four videos so have a complete understanding of this 
So how we can solve this? How we can solve this? Let's go to the PPT and then we'll try to figure out how we can solve it. Okay. So every day, anyway, now those are coming regularly. They have complete understanding already how we can make the solution of it. Okay. So now here, this is a AGPG solution, uh, AGPG for you. Okay. And now I want the same level of confidence. I want the same level of confidence in the exams as well, like wherever you are giving a coding interview or something. So nums, you have this thing, uh, one comma two comma two comma three. Sorry, four. And there is one thing is missing. So probably what should be ideally there? It should be like this: one comma two comma three comma four. Why? Because they have mentioned you will have value one to n, and the n is the length of the array, and length is four. So means value one to four. But what you what is the problem? This two has been repeated, and three is missing. So what we can do in array frequency counter, we always do one thing. And that thing is that we count the frequency of the elements, right? So you'll count the frequency of the element by using the value of this nums array as the indexes of the frequency array, right? So we'll have one frequency array of the size n plus one. Why n plus one? Because you have value at four. So on the index at four, you need the size size array, right? So we will have here all the value are assigned to zero, all the value are assigned to zero, all the five value, and here here you will have this. Indexes: zero index, one index, two index, three index, and four index. So these are the actual value. So what we are doing is that we are utilizing the value of the index in the frequency array. So let's suppose we'll iterate this. We'll count the frequency. So we got the bun. Iterate this nums and update the value in the frequency. We get the bun. Go on the bun index. Do plus plus. So you'll get the bun here. Again, you get the two. Go to the second index. Do plus plus. You'll get the bun. Why? Because zero plus one becomes one. Now again, you got two. So on the second index, again you will update the value by one. So this becomes two, and again you get the fourth. So on the fourth index, you will update the value by one. So now you have this resultant array: zero comma one comma two comma zero comma one. So those have like this you will ignore because you have value from one to one only. So zero index you will ignore. You will start from the one index only. So there you will have the value as two. That index value was missing. So which means that which means that this is this is this is zero. So this third index means three is missing. And this where the value is two means that was repeated on the second index. This was repeated. So the answer will be two comma three in an array, or in a list, or in a vector, or in anything. I hope this makes sense now. Tell me in the comment. Is this clear to all? Is this making sense to everybody? Is this making sense to all? Please tell me. Is this making sense to all? And any your number is very few. Are very few. I really not appreciate this thing. Like anyhow, I'm coming every day on time here. I spend time here, so I want that this would help multiple people. But I don't think so. You people are supporting this live. Please support it because only then I'll be able to deliver the maximum possible outcomes here. Okay, so no worries, no worries, yar. Anyhow, if you are personally learning, that is also great. But if you can help the others, that is also really amazing. So what we'll do is that we will have one frequency array, and I hope those are attending a live every day. They understand everything, because for understanding DSO you have to watch the series from zero to one, means from the one video till here, right? So now here we will have one frequency array. First we'll have the length, okay? So int n that length nums dot length. We will have our frequency array. So frequency array I'll create here, same as every day. First, I'll write the code in Java. Then I will write the code in C plus plus. Then I'll write in Python. Okay, every day we write in three languages, right? So now here, what we'll do? A uh, new int and here the size plus one. That you understand? Because only then the frequency can have four as index. Uh, for in this example, right? N as index. When you have the size n plus one. Now you'll count the frequency. I'll use a for each loop here to count the frequency. Let's say the value I will have here. And I'll iterate my num array. I'll utilize these values again. If I'm not understanding, write in comment. I'll reply you right there. I'll reply you right there. Okay, so you don't have to worry about a lot. Now, now what you'll do? Frequency. You'll utilize the that value from the nums as an index of the frequency. Array. You'll do plus plus. So whenever you'll get the value, you'll increase the value by one. So what will happen? You will have the value on that particular index the number of times that element has occurred, right? So now here again you will iterate it. So for and now you will iterate what? You will iterate the frequency starting from one index, not zero, because your value have from one to n. So now uh, you will have your i less than frequency dot length. Frequency dot 
length alien g t h very difficult spelling now 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 what we'll do now what we'll do uh, we'll here we'll check if if on this particular index okay on this particular index you have value as 2 means this is repeated this is repeated because only then you will have frequency as 2 when you were came twice right you came twice only then you will have frequency as 2 you will have frequency as 2 the same story you know uh, people used to get extra prasad prasad you understand or, or something like something has been divided and people are coming twice in a line so you will have the frequency as 2 right so that is the culprit so anyway the answer should be in terms of array so we'll define an array here of two sides so int a result of two sides new int and here i'll define the two sides and what we'll do is that on on zero index they are having the repeated value and on the one index they are having the missing value so in result on zero index i will have the repeated value any of the index are the actual value now yes or no yes or no i want energy i want energy i want interactivity please champs waiting for the responses frequency then you will check if the value is zero which means that value was missing which means that you'll put on the bun index that value the missing value will have from here the missing value will have from here yes or no yes or no now at the end at the end you will return your result return result that's it very very easy easy solution i hope this will work according to the problem because whatever the problem was we have just written that solution only oh no what it's saying like incompatible type int cannot be converted to int why why int cannot be converted to int hmm but int was found there are defined type int they don't have the value or something you know type int cannot be converted to int oh that was array or something oh this is a problem actually i haven't used this square bracket silly mistake so sad so sad now now this works that's why i was thinking like why int is not compatible with int right so this works fine this works fine anyway when you submit it you will be 100 percent so that works that works right we understand how this is working yeah, write in comment if this is clear to you only then i'll proceed otherwise you let me know if you need a dry run or something i don't think so anybody need a dry run those are watching this this live regularly because this is how we are counting the frequency if the frequency is two that is repeated if the frequency is zero that is missing right and at then we'll, we'll return a result We'll return a result now you hope this is clear to all this is clear to all cool yeah so now now we'll write the same code in in c plus plus then in python then we'll wrap okay then we'll wrap and is this clear to everybody please do let me know i'm just waiting for the responses so now here you don't have directly arrays actually you don't have the um, length method also because vector have the size method in c plus plus so i will have the size method here and you don't directly you don't have this uh, array you will have the vector so i will have the vector that will have the end type value the name of the vector when it will be the result the size will be two for the first vector okay for the uh, and the value by default i want zero because in see you will have the garbage value so i don't want that so here you will have the another vector as frequency there you will store the frequency yes or no vector as a frequency counter very good evening prince glad to hear prince you're you're traveling but still you're watching anyway your hard work and dedication one day it will pay off okay so now here you will have this n plus one size of that vector and the, all the value to be zero automatically the for each loop is the same in the c plus also but you don't have the size here you will have you don't have the length here you will have the size method Okay, we'll have the size method and rest i guess works rest i guess works in c plus you have the similar syntax as java it's just little differences look at this works this works 
Now, please tell me if you need a dry run, then do that one. It's beating 100%. The time complexity is the linear. Okay, and you're using just one loop to iterate it. Okay, so the time complexity is linear, big of n. And the space complexity is con not constant, actually. You will have this linear because you're utilizing till n only. So, we'll have the linear. Okay, now, now we will have the code for the Python also. So, now Python, now Python. Python Python okay so okay but you don't have the arrays in Python you have list so what will do you don't have the length also you will have the and data type also right so I will have the n h equals to length the size of the list and the list is nums so I will have the size here then I don't have the arrays here I will have the list so one list is result and what I want that the value will be zero, but I want the size is two. The size is two. So now the another thing I want is that frequency list that I will store the frequency. Yes or no? So that will be the multiplication of size plus one. All right. So n plus one. Cool. Now you don't have this for off loop or for each loop here. You will have for in loop here. So for value in nums. Call in. You don't have plus plus in Python you just have a uh, plus h equals to one so that you can do here you don't have curly braces and similarly you don't have this normal for loop here you will have uh, this for i in range i in range range of what one because we don't want from zero index we want from one index right value are from one to n only and the length of the frequency a length of the frequency Okay, and here we are comparing it, but you don't have this curly brace, you will have this colon. And here you don't have this uh, semicolon, you will remove this curly braces. Similarly, here you will remove this curly brace, you will have colon, and again you will have this thing. And you will rem remove this as well, you will return your result. I hope this works fine. And I hope this is clear to everybody here. Yeah. I hope this this is clear to all. This is clear to all. That I strongly believe here. Because I, believe, I trust my students. And that when the time will come, they'll come for reference to me. I'll, I'll refer them happily. Why? Because I, I strongly believe because they have learned from me, they will have that level of confidence. But only when you are very consistent. All right. Only when you are very consistent. Please tell me, is this clear to all? Any other Python is a little slower in solving a problem over lead code? That's why it's taking more time. But the time complexity is still the same. That is uh, big of n and the space complexity is big of n because you're utilizing a one extra data structure, which is this. This frequency one. Okay. And I hope this is clear to all here. If you have any particular doubt, then please do let me know. Otherwise, we'll wrap. Otherwise, we'll wrap. So I can't see uh, the doubt comments. Probably we can wrap. Thank you guys for joining this live. See you in the next live by tomorrow on the same time. Okay. Okay, you'll try it again, friends. Bye bye to all. See you in the next live. And if you enjoyed this particular live, please like like the video or share with your friends by which they can also have the benefit of it. And if you're coming for very first time on the channel, subscribe the channel for have the further updates on lead code, on the multiple hirings, and on a lot of things. Bye to all. See you in the next live.